What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today we're going to take a look at all of the loot I've got so far from the Prison of Elders and Challenge of the Elders and general stuff from Varric. So we're going to be going through the stuff that I've gotten so far, the levels and what's good and what's not. Also comment down below what stuff you've been getting, I'll be interested to know what the kind of light levels are and how you're getting along with the Challenge of the Elders, what kind of stuff you've gotten. So firstly we're going to take a look at the Cypher stuff, of course if you get the 30k high score in one Challenge of the Elders run you'll get a weapon and the 90k cumulative for a week. That will get you an armor piece that is on the Elder Cypher in the Challenge of the Elders, which is the level 42 version. Once you complete one of the Cypher challenges, you can go to Varix and pick up a package. And as you can see, this is the weapon package I got. And I managed to get Her Theory, the same one that they got on stream. And it came in at light level 325, which is pretty decent. I'm currently around 323 or 322 at the time of getting this. And now into the perks, the scopes are absolutely awful. That is definitely a downside. The Her Theory is actually a really good sniper. It's very close to the 1000 yard stare and actually a really good weapon, especially in PvP. But this weapon just isn't that usable because the scopes are just way too far zoom. The last perk is Firefly, which is actually pretty cool. And I'm actually happy with that. But the scopes, like I said, make this weapon pretty much unusable. So I think I'm going to infuse this into my 1000 yard and keep looking for another good sniper. Now moving on to the armor piece you get for the cumulative score for the 90k. I picked up the helmet at 326. It's called the Warden Sight, and I really love this helmet. I always love the design, and it just looks really cool. I always love the old Prison of Elders one, and this is basically the same one. So I'm really happy I got this one. I think it looks awesome, and it's a high light level as well, which I like too. So I think I'm going to use it as my main helmet for now. Now, moving into some other things I managed to pick up. From the Challenge of the Elders, you also have a chance to pick up the exotic weapons, the Queen Breaker's Bow, the Lord of Wolves, and also the Dreg's Promise. Now, these are quite confusing when they drop. They will actually drop at the end of loot screen. So this screen you can see right here, when all the like the swirling things happen, it will drop to your loot, just like the end of a Crucible match. That is where you actually get those exotic weapons. But normally, you'll get some stuff that fills up the two boxes and it'll kind of overlap, so you won't see that you've got an exotic. The only time you will see them is at the, like, the one frame when the screen goes black and it goes to orbit, so you might see it flash. But most of the time, you just go to inventory and you'll notice you have one of these weapons that's what happened to me twice i picked up two of these weapons the lord of wolves and the dregs promise i'm really happy to get these weapons i don't have the queen breakers bow which i really want the most i definitely use that thing in crucible but i managed to pick up the lord of wolves which is a really good shotgun just tanks damage and i'm really enjoying this thing and also dregs promise which apparently is pretty decent in crucible right now also it's like tracking bullets and this is of course an exotic sidearm so looking forward to using most of these weapons i've used the lord of wolves so far and like I said, it just does a load of damage to Major, so it's a really good PvE weapon. Probably not that great in PvP, but the Dreg's Promise apparently is good in PvP, so I'll have to give that a go and let you know how I get on with it. So those are the two exotics I've gotten so far. Pretty lucky, but I still want that Queen Breaker's Bow. Now, moving into the other prison stuff I've got, I've done the level 41 version of the Prison of Elders a few times, which is the lower level one, and that has the Treasure Room, of course, which you can unlock as many times as you want. You can farm it infinitely and just go to that anytime you want without a Treasure Key as well. You do not need a treasure key to open that chest anymore but the first time i opened it i actually didn't record it but i got 10 legendary marks i got two legendary engrams which is pretty decent and also got some coins and motes and all that stuff from the small chest so a decent amount of loot and i think you do have a chance of getting exotics from that chest as well maybe slim but i believe you do have a chance as well and then the second time which i did record and you see the footage of here i picked up another 10 legendary marks and also the only thing i got from the big chest which is kind of disappointing was a 315 ghost which was blue so nothing that great of course my ghost is 320 so this is really a great drop and of course got moats and planchy materials from these small chests so all in all pretty decent of course the challenge of the elders is definitely more rewarding the only bad thing is you can only do it once per week so you can only get one weapon and one armor piece per week whereas the 41 is actually farmable and you can do that over and over again I guess you can farm the 42 for the Queen Breakers, the Lord of Falls, and the Drex Promise. But other than that, you aren't really going to get much loot rewards because, of course, you don't have the treasure room you can go to at the end of the 42. So as it stands so far, decent loot. It seems like the 41 is the one you farm regularly. The 42 is the one that you do a few times per week. Now, something else that I got is actually pretty interesting from a Varix rank up package. So every time you rank up with the House of Judgment with Varix, you're going to get given a package. You can see on screen now all the possible things you can get. I managed to pick up this cloak right here, which is actually pretty cool. And it came in at light level 326, which is a really high light level. I don't think the cloak looks that great. I'm not really a big fan of the look of it. But I infused it into my dead orbit cloak already. And that is definitely a good light level 326. Happy with that. So that is all the stuff I've gotten so far from Varix and the Prison of Elders. Let me know in the comment section what stuff you've been getting on and what your thoughts of the prison in general. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Drop a like rating if you did. And I'll see you guys on the next video.